For years, I've been testing emulators, and one complaint just keeps coming back. Why does every emulator only work well on Snapdragon phones? If you've ever used a Dimensity, Exynos, or even a powerful flagship that isn't Snapdragon, you already know the struggle. No Adreno GPU means no custom drivers, and that usually means terrible FPS, laggy gameplay, or even crashing emulators. But today, everything changes. In this video, I'm going to show you six emulators for different consoles like Wii, Wii U, PS2, even Nintendo Switch that run shockingly well, even on Mali GPUs. Let's get started. The king of Wii U emulation just dropped on Android. And yes, even Mali users can play hits like Mario Kart 8, Wind Waker, and Super Mario 3D World using Vulcan. No Snapdragon? No problem. With the right setup, this emulator turns your regular Android into a Wii U powerhouse. CMU is still under development but it continues to get better with each update. It allows custom settings and graphic packs so you can tweak resolution, anti-aliasing, and shadow quality. It supports controller mapping, shader caching, and Vulkan rendering for smoother gameplay. Grab it now and unlock a full console library right on your phone. CMU Android is available on official GitHub. Move over PS2 emulator, there's a new king in town. Nether SX2 Classic 2.0 is lighter, faster, and finally works smoothly with Mali GPUs. Play titles like Tekken 5, Shadow of the Colossus, and NFS Underground 2 without crashes. This emulator has the ability to understand your device's specs and adapt accordingly. With the right settings, you'll get some of the smoothest gameplay ever. Ever, even without custom GPU drivers. Features like BIOS auto detection, per game config, and widescreen patches make it even better. Nether SX2 Classic 2.0 is proudly available on GitHub and is made for everyone, no matter your chip. Is it possible to run GameCube and Wii games on budget phones? Yes, please, forget the myths Dolphin MMJ doesn't need a flagship chip to shine. While the official version is available on Google Play Store, we're talking about the enhanced MMJ version. Special made for Mali GPUs and low-end devices. Now you can play games like Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, Resident Evil 4, and Naruto, Clash of Ninja Without Lag. It supports dual-core emulation, native Wii remotes, and resolution tweaks. It's lightweight, fast, and highly customizable, perfect for low-end warriors. One word, buttery smooth. Duck Station is one of the most optimized emulators for old devices, and it performs excellently on Mali chips. Dive into the classics like Crash Bandicoot, Metal Gear Solid, and Tekken 3 in glorious HD. It includes advanced features like PGXP correction, true color rendering, save states, turbo mode, and widescreen hacks. Plus, you don't need custom drivers, just install and play. Duck Station is available directly from the Google Play Store, making it accessible and easy to use. Over a decade later, PPSSPP still reigns supreme, especially on non-Snapdragon devices. Whether you're into God of War, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, or Tekken 6, this emulator handles it all smoothly, even on low-end phones. It supports HD scaling, texture filtering, cloud saves, cheats, and more. In fact, PPSSPP runs almost every PSP game at high resolution, including 4K. It doesn't need any special drivers and is universally compatible. You can grab PPSSPP from the official website or Google Play Store. I know what you're thinking. It's impossible to run Switch games on a low-end or non-Snapdragon phone. But here's the shocker. A Switch emulator called Niushu was specially made for MediaTek and Mali GPUs. With improved Vulkan support and optimization, it lets you play games like Hollow Knight, Hades, and New Super Mario Bros. U with less stuttering and crashes. No GitHub? No problem. Niushu is available via their official Telegram channel. This fork brings the Switch experience to a whole new level of accessibility for everyone. PS3 emulation is finally making moves on Android. Yes, you heard it right. The emulator APPS3E is in early development but already shows promising results even on non-Snapdragon phones. Some lighter PS3 games and homebrew titles can now boot and run on Mali and Dimensity devices. While it's not perfect yet, it's an exciting step forward. The emulator is optimized to use Vulkan and OpenGL depending on the device. It supports basic controller input and is actively being tested by the Android emulation community. APPS 3E is available through its A of. So next time someone tells you that emulators only work on Snapdragon, just smile and show them this video. Let me know in the comments which emulator surprised you the most. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want more content like this.